Joining me now is Jess Munoz. He is the general manager of the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to have you here. I like your display. It looks really holiday and festive. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You're feeling good? A lot of people are trying to figure out, you know, I got to get a nice gift, maybe get something a little different. So tell everyone a little bit of first and foremost about the Brass Armadillo. Okay, our store, which is located up on 28th Drive in Cactus, mm -hmm. we have uh, it's a 40,000 square foot store. It, we have over 300 dealers that uh, collect uh, vintage, antiques, collectibles, mm -hmm. type items. What they do is they showcase those items in booths and cases. So what I did is I brought along some items here to yeah, show you Yeah, you got some nice items. Well, tell us a little bit about the things that you brought, because I see a lot of uh, the shiny crystal, little containers for the candy this holiday season, which is pretty popular. Exactly. Well, some of the items that you see here are, are you can use antique items to show, or like say for instance, for decorations and all right. that other stuff. So maybe taking a vase, filling it up with candies, you can put and those this in there. is really pretty too, an antique vase exactly. and just fill it up with candy. And also they're used as gift items. So you can also gift those to them mm -hmm. and start somebody else on their collecting their items as far as like if they have something that they're collecting. Right, and then let's talk about this Christmas tree because what I understand is someone put this together by using old fashioned salt and pepper shakers. Exactly, back in the times they, uh, what do you call it, when money was scarce and everything else. Mm -hmm. They used different items rather than trying to use uh, uh, ornaments and all this other stuff. They did what they could with at home. So they bought, or they got the little yeah. mismatch items and they just kind of put it on and just decorate the trees up. So this is a great way for anybody who's like, knows someone who likes antiques or collectibles to come in and maybe pick up something. And like you said, put a treat or something in it and then give them to them and that exactly. starts their collection or adds to their collection. Exactly. So what are some of the items that you see or hear people coming in looking for when they come to an antique mall? Well, usually it's kind of like small little uh, furniture items, mm -hmm. uh, collectible. Sometimes they want to use them for, uh, like say for instance, if you want to look for a gift box, you can use that to put it like a little gift card inside it. And that's a pretty classy looking gift box for a gift card. Yep. And then also, say for instance, if you're proposing to somebody, you can also put that in there and then also do it a little bit. Oh, look how pretty that is. Do that. Yeah, that would make a serious statement. And then again, you can also keep the dish for later to put, um, you can put butter in it or you can um, put exactly. some candy in it and put it on the mantle. But like Very I said, it's nice. just even, even taking uh, decanters and just adding candies to them and then just basically just gifting them out. Mm -hmm. So you can use different items to uh, centerpiece your your displays. Speaking of the decanters, I see this a lot um, when you watch those, um, well, when I do, watch the wedding programs. <laughs> they mm -hmm. have these because people have candy bars and they're using the antique um, vases, the, um, the, the, the canisters, the little candy dishes to fill up with candy and they come in different assortments of colors and shapes and it really adds dimension to a table and exactly. sets the theme. Exactly. Very nice. You can use it as holiday decor, mm -hmm. taking the old coffee uh, cans here yeah, and then just basically just putting some different candies inside it. And also now, we mix this in uh, as far as an old coffee and these are little the Keurig. Yeah, this makes okay, a nice so statement, it kinda, changes yep, it up. So you can just kind of make it that as a gift. Now are the individuals who are in the, st um, the antique mall showing, are they all local or are these people coming from out of town? Actually, they're both. Mm -hmm. We actually have two, two sets of our dealers. Some of them come from another state, and some of them are a little bit further out of town mm -hmm. from Phoenix. But they do, uh, this is their thing that they do, is they collect a lot of the items. They bring them down and sell them. But they, they, like I said, they procure their items through different estate sales and all that oh. stuff. So you can so. get, and nothing is there all the time, so things do shift and move. So if you're looking for something specific, Pacific, this is the place to come to this holiday exactly. season. Exactly. We got about 30 seconds, so once again, tell everybody where you're located in the hours of operation. Okay, we're located at uh, I-17 and Cactus is our north location. Mm -hmm. We also have another location, which is over in Goodyear, oh. which is on I-10 and uh, Dicer Road. And you're open seven days a week? Nine to nine, seven days a week. Nine to nine, all right. The Brass Armadillo, go get yourself something unique. Turn that vintage item into a classic new tradition this holiday season. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're gonna have a preview, Catherine and I, of Thursday show. Hey. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You have. Good cheer.